Hey everybody, welcome back to another weekly Slime Fun update with your host Boomer. Today we have a number of things we want to cover. First and foremost, let's talk about the guide. One of the things that used to drive me and a lot of people really crazy was that you would go through the guide and you would start clicking down and looking at all the crafting ingredients necessary to make something and then you would click back and on some items you'd go all the way back to the main menu instead of back to the page where you are at. This has now been fixed. I've been doing this for about a half an hour and so far this morning I have not found anything that has forced me to go all the way back to the main level. I am so glad to see this. That is so nice. No more having to restart items. Nice job guys. Thank you so much for fixing that. Another one we're going to look at. There was a duping glitch that involved any slime fun block placed side by side that was less than a full block. If you hit it with an explosive pickaxe, it was mining one, leaving one, and then dropping the other. So you, instead of having two, you would get three. This has now been fixed. So if I were to again hit it with an explosive pickaxe, I now have two instead of previously, I would have gotten three. So very big uh, glitch that has been fixed. Glad to see that. Moving on. The old automated crafter has been completely pulled from the game. So if you've been updated this week, there is no chance, no way, no how that you still have that machine. It is nice to see it gone. We're moving forward. Additionally, the auto enchanter had a minor glitch where you had to put the tool on the right side to get it to enchant and then it would kick in well now let's grab another enchanter and now if you put the tool on the left can't use a slime fun guide boomer it works i thought i'd try to enchant a slime fun guide on a tool see what happens right so that has been fixed. So now it doesn't matter if you put the tool on the right as I did in that one or the tool on the left as I did in that one. It's nice to know it will not let you enchant the slime fun guide. That was critical. We had to know that. That's good to know. Nice job, Biscuit. Um, <laughs> so moving on. In uh, core slime fun, another thing that was, and I, I guess I didn't know this was an issue. I didn't try it. Um, a few things are no longer placeable. Batteries, tin cans, magical glass, uh, you can no longer place. I guess I'm not quite sure where I was going to be that I needed to place a battery. Usually I put those in machines to make them work. I know I went to the store the other day and bought a 30 pack of Duracells and had to sell one of my kids to pay for them. They're so expensive. Anyways, uh, and there's also been some other uh, minor changes and tweaks as well, getting ready for some future stuff. And there was some compatibility Ash added to use the lore to check for other enchanting add-ons to see if they truly are an enchantment or not. So some cool things going on there. Uh, let's grab one of our picks here. So now we have mending, right? There was also an issue, unfortunately, where Dynatech was interfering with applying Soulbound in Unbreakable Runes. And that has now been fixed. So now I have a uh, soulbound mending shovel and if I were to toss the unbreakable ruin there it is all fixed thank you so much prof good job so guys that concludes this week's update I thank you so much for taking the time to watch and being a part of the channel don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell so you're told when new episodes come out but as always when you're playing Minecraft don't forget you gotta go boomer or you gotta go home we'll see you later